I'm super excited today because I just received the new Avermedia Live Gamer 4K capture card. If you're looking for this card online, it's a lot easier. It was easier for me to look it up by the model number to make sure you're getting the, the right model, the newest one, the GC573, at least at the time of this video. Now the specs, one of the things that makes this so incredible with this card, it's an internal card that you're gonna install it into a PCIe slot. And it has all the hardware you need built into it for capturing video. It's not going to have to hammer your CPU. That's one of the drawbacks with USB, your typical external capture cards, is that they are limited by your USB bandwidth, but more importantly, they're utilizing your CPU resources pretty heavily to do all the work. One of the beautiful things about this card is that it has all that on board and it handles that for you. But not only for 1080p 60, this thing is capable of hang on 4k 60 hdr 1440p 120 fps or you can do 1080p 240 fps that's insane and it's not even going to break a sweat on your cpu doing that so it can do this recording and you'll also pass through so we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing i'm really excited about it it retails at the time of this video at roughly 250 dollars us see what we have we're gonna go ahead and install it i'll go ahead and install it in the pc and run through a quick setup on how to do that it does of course have rgb because you know we can't have gaming components nowadays without rgb the side panel lights up and it has some kind of software control for that so up that box you got another box in a box I'm gonna open this up got foam here Pull this back. And we're looking at what? We got the card. Directly, we've got it comes with an HDMI cable. Then you've got your one year warranty card here. And you've got your quick start guide right there. We're just going to unpackage this. Here's a card. Not a whole lot to look at. That side panel right there where it says Aver Media is what's actually gonna light up RGB. It would be kind of neat. It's nitpicking. It would be neat if it had a back plate. You know, it kind of goes with everything else, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing installed. Run you through the setup process. Got your two HDMI ports, one in, one out. We're going to go ahead and run this through and install. So a few things I want to cover. I just got the card installed. Now, when you first power your PC on, the card is going to flash red. But luckily, that's just something it does at first boot. Whenever you boot up, it's just going to flash red. But what we did was we went to the website inside the quick start guide. And it's going to load here. It can be a little bit overwhelming at first and confusing. You can click download over here. And then when you go down here, I just skipped straight to the driver part. And as of this date, that's the newest driver. You know, when you're watching this video, maybe a newer driver. Download that. Go ahead and download the application on this tab, ReCentral as well. Whatever the latest version is of that. So when you download the driver and run that, we've already run through that on here and installed it, it's gonna check your card and it's probably gonna to need to flash the firmware. It'll automatically ask you, just tell it okay. It's pretty straightforward, just go straight through, click next, and it's gonna run through a flash process that'll have you, after it completes, it will prompt you to power off your computer completely and then power it back on and then you're done. So that's where we're at now, after you've done that, Go to the application that you downloaded and we're gonna run it at the little administrator prompt. So an installer will install Avermedia ReCentral 4 on your computer. Click next to continue. Up to turns. I always uncheck this. I do not agree to share my usage data. So 
pay attention to that. Make that decision. Next. Then we're going to do, just go ahead and do the complete. If you need to change the install location, you can change it there, obviously. Pretty straightforward. And launch Avermedia Reach Central 4. Go ahead and allow access to that. If you have Windows Firewall enabled, then you get prompted. All right, welcome to Reach Central 4. This wizard will guide you through recording and streaming videos effortlessly. So this software also includes the ability to stream directly from it. Most of us probably are not going to use this. So we're just going to click X and not worry about that we're typically going to use OBS Studio. But you still do need to install this to go ahead and get you know your drivers and your management for the video capture itself. Here's your audio mixer right here. We're going to play with this. Live Gamer 4K. You've got your audio capture where you're going to configure there. Audio device. Alt microphone, which again, we're not really concerned with that because we're not going to use this to stream directly from. Now, if you'll notice in the upper left hand corner, you have this sprocket. You can click that sprocket, gear, whatever you want to call it. You can enable VSync to improve video smoothness. That's something you may want to play with later. Probably be fine the way it is. Profile management about you check for updates here. Live Gamer, check for updates there. Here's one thing we want to look at, lighting. So your RGB lighting, you can turn it completely off to where there's no RGB lighting on the side of the card inside your case if it you know clashes with everything. Or you can leave it enabled and change the solid and then pick a color here that goes with you know your, your theme. Pulsing, it's got all these different options. Frequency you can play with. So if that's the kind of thing you like, we've got different themes for that. Those are the main things people are going to care about. We can go ahead and close that out. Next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and add this to OBS. All right, so what we're going to do is whichever scene, it doesn't matter. We're going to add a source like we normally do. We're going to go down here, hit the plus sign for your scene at, under your sources section. We're going to go to video capture device. We can name this whatever we want. I'm going to name this Avermedia 4K. Click OK. And from here, we're going to go through and we're going to select the Avermedia. It says HD Capture GC 573.1. And there you go. Go ahead and resize that, get that out of the way. Deactivate that for a second so we can see the settings. We're just going to take the device defaults for now. And whenever we have something plugged in HMI. It's going to detect it. Another important note I wanted to touch on these types of game capture devices, if you're not already familiar, if it's not like an Elgato, you know, Elgato kind of has their own software that you can view in a screen. If you don't have, you know, a dedicated monitor where you're going to do the HDMI out, you don't have to use that. You can actually, after you add this in OBS, you can find your source you can right click the source and then we want to go down to either you can do full screen projector source and project onto one of your existing monitors full screen or you can do windowed projector source and whenever you do this here you go you'll have this you know this window you can resize do whatever you want to and you can game that way and view whatever the hdmi input is happening there again this is if you don't have another monitor that you just want to dedicate to this so we have successfully got our ps4 connected to this thing looking great i have my avermedia 4k source object mirrored full screen onto my other monitor and it's added here so if you'll notice one of the first things if you first install this there's no sound so Judging by most people's setups, you're going to have this Avermedia 4K object. There's this object right here, and there's no sound. But you can see whenever I move the controller, it's trying to make sound, I just don't hear it. So if you run into this issue, you, all you need to do is hit your sprocket right here, and then go to Advanced Audio Properties. Find the object for this source, which is 
a Vermedia 4K is what we named ours, and then change it from monitor off to monitor only. And then once you do that, you have sound. Not only do you have sound, but you also have separate volume control for that sound as well. So just a quick tip in case you run into that issue. It's as easy as that. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below if you have any issues setting it up, whatever. Um, we do have a Gilded server if you want to check that out. The links are in the description. You can catch me on Twitch. You can check my schedule. ClassicCaleb.pro is always a good place to find out the latest way to get in touch with me if you need to somehow. I hope this has been helpful to you.